Hi, I'm Celeste and welcome to Find Your Purple. This morning I thought I'd bring up a book that I found recently. So many people think they're too old to get started on something new. Um, I wish I started playing piano 10 years ago or I wish I took up this or I wish I did that. Forget the wishing. You're not too old. If there's something out there you want to do, do it. Uh, and I came across a book that tells that in spades. It's called Senior Wonders. It's by Karen Pepkin and Wendell Taylor. Get without the glare. And it's people who achieve their dreams after the age of 60. And it's a it's a quick read, but it's a book. I mean, Grandma Moses started painting at 76. Um, let me see. Oh, some, this lady was 90 when she walked 3,200 miles from Pasadena, California to Washington, D.C. to spotlight the urgency for, for reform. This one was 65 when she funded an organization devoted to eliminating forced retirement. In her 60s, oh, not your little house on the prairie. She didn't start writing until she was in her 60s. This one was 75. She became the first African-American woman to overcome formidable challenges and reach the North and South Pole. Hello, people. At 67, she had lung cancer and breast cancer and survived, okay? And then she saved money to be able to make a trek to the North and South Pole. She was one of the oldest people at age 75 to accomplish the feat. And at age 80, okay, at 75, she went to the North Pole. At 80, she went to the South Pole. 80, okay, I'm 62. That's almost 20 years older than I am now. And the woman went to the South Pole. I mean, it just went over and over. Uh, this one got her bachelor's degree. Those of you that think it's too late to go back to school, she got her bachelor's degree at 95 and her master's at 98. Okay? That's pretty cool. This guy got into journalism in his 60s for the first time. This one at 73 wrote her first novel. Estelle Getty landed her role with Golden Girls. At 62, she paid Sophie, the mother. So, I mean, okay, here's one that started painting in her 50s, became an established painter. This one reached, achieved literary success at age 97 by publishing the first of his three biographical, biography novels. So anyway, I think you get the point. Again, it's called Senior Wonders. If you want proof it's never too late, then you might want to pick up the book at Amazon or something. The point is, it's never too late, okay? I don't care if you're in your 60s, your 70s, your 80s, your 90s. These people proved you can do it if you set your mind to it. Just take the baby steps. Make a decision, people. Change your life if you don't like it, okay? These people weren't all, they weren't, didn't have money. They weren't all healthy. Some of them, again, I overcame breast cancer, other kinds of cancer and illnesses. So, you know, and if you look out and Google, you'll find other people that have been in wheelchairs. There's people that have it far worse than you do, and they still manage to change their life and do something and follow their dreams. So get out there. Take your baby steps. Follow your dreams. Find your purple, and then go for it. And if you don't know what your purple is, that's fine. And your purple can change but find something that speaks to you and do it, okay? So in the meantime, grab your cup of tea, sit back, and let's start sharing. And if you found your purple or you're getting an inkling of it or you're starting to get excited about doing something new, put it in the comments. Love to cheer you on. So have a good day. And get out there and take some baby steps today.